What's going on guys, this is the Red Rogue, and today we'll be talking about a question that I get in basically any video where I show my UI while playing. What do I use for buff tracking bars? More specifically, what do I use for my energy bar? Well, the short answer is weak auras, and the long answer is the template system in weak auras, because I'm modestly lazy and minimalistic. Well, that's not really much of a longer answer. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to show you guys how easy it is to make these sort of things in this little tutorial video I'll be doing today for Wicked Weak Auras. So, Weak Auras. One of those all-encompassing add-ons that nearly anyone who uses add-ons knows about if they don't actually use them. I've done a couple videos regarding Weak Auras, as well as a Weak Auras Basics video. I guess this will technically be a kind of part 2 to that, as this is showing how to make a resource tracking bar for energy, as well as buff and debuff tracking bars as well, such as my slice and dice bar or a rupture bar. Oh, and as a heads up, if you want a different way to keep track of any rogue slash wow related shenanigans that I'm up to or what videos are being posted for the day, feel free to swing by my Twitter page at Zara the Red Rogue. I figured I'd start mentioning that every now and then for these videos because apparently I knew Twitter was popular, but I didn't know Twitter was that popular, I guess. I'm not really a big social media user, so this is like literally the first Twitter account I've ever made, so yeah, I guess that's a thing. Anyways, back to the weak ores. There are plenty of things I prefer just as a box with a cooldown timer in it, such as most of the ones you see here for the things like Shiv, Vendetta, and Serrated Bone Spike. Generally, if it's a cooldown-oriented move, I prefer box-shaped tracking, but if it's something I'm supposed to maintain uptime of or track the debuff duration of, I prefer a bar, as it gives me a visual representation of how far along it is, or if I should be refreshing it or not. These same template-style weak ores can be used for a variety of tracking, not just rogue-related things, though I will be using rogues as the example since that's what I can show you the easiest. So, we'll start with an energy bar. I keep mine nice and simple, though I'll show a couple kinda swanky looking things you can do with them in a future video. So you'll open weak ores by typing forward slash wa into chat. From here, we'll be doing this the super super easy way and just tweaking a couple things to our liking. I'm going to click on new aura, which is in the top left corner with the plus sign, and then select the simple from template option here. Next, we'll be using the progress bar option. I prefer horizontal bars since you have more screen space horizontally than vertically, but that's up to your visual preference, of course. Next, we're going to scroll down to the resources option. With this, you can make a combo point weak aura pretty easily, or an energy one, since those are the two standard resources of rogues. I personally prefer the add-on nug combo bar, so I do not use weak auras for a combo point tracker. Anyways, once you select the energy option, you'll have a kinda chunky looking bar pop up on your screen. I personally prefer it to be a little thinner and longer... The energy bar, not... <sighs> Sigh. To adjust the dimensions of your energy bar, simply left-click and hold on one of the corners, and you can adjust it however you want. You'll notice this one has my character name on it instead of the words energy, and the one I personally use doesn't have any text on it at all, other than the numerical amount of energy I have currently. That's pretty easy to change, as well as the color of the bar too. The bar color is as simple as clicking on the bar color box under the bar color settings and moving the color wheel to whatever you prefer. This is under the display panel of the weak aura as you can see here. I personally use yellow just because the standard UI uses yellow and because it just makes sense as a rogue. Now to remove the silly text that has my name on it, you'll scroll down further on the display page. There is a sub element section which has text 1 and text 2. When you hover over the display text parameters, you'll be given a quick example of what all of these weird combinations of percentage symbols and letters mean. For example, percent %P is to show the progress of something, which in this case the progress of our energy bar filling up. Text 2, however, shows percent %N. Percent %N is quite literally the name of what it is tracking. Since this is an energy bar, it is literally tracking me, hence why it shows my character name. This is simple enough to get rid of or rename if you so choose. If you want it to be blank, simply delete the percent %n and click this little OK button that should show up. If you'd rather it say energy on it, or Red Bull, or Super Duper Mountain Dew or something, then just type in whatever you want it to display as the text after clearing the field of that percent %n and click OK again. Super simple and easy to customize. You can also change your font style and text size if you choose to, as well as shadow effects for the text and the color of the text. Those are things that you might want to fiddle with if you have a certain color scheme you want to stick with to your UI, or if your UI has a certain font that you want to try and replicate. 
but this is a nice basic energy bar for keeping track of energy. So now let's show you how to track some debuffs using the same horizontal bar template. Oh geez, wait, I nearly forgot. If this is a weak aura you want active on multiple specs for your class, you'll need to change the load parameters for it. Since this is an energy tracker bar, I want this active on any type of rogue on my account. So we'll click on the load tab in the upper right corner, and you'll see right near the top is the talent specialization and player class options. So we're just gonna untick the specialization option and all that should be left is the player class of rogue. So now this is the same energy bar that will show up on any and every rogue you make. This will give you a nice simple weak ore to track energy, so now we'll use a similar process to track debuffs on targets. Once again, we'll click on the new aura button and select simple from template. We'll choose another horizontal bar, and this time we'll be doing one for tracking rupture on your currently selected target, which is naturally under the debuffs tab. For the visibility parameter, you can do it whichever way you prefer. I personally like the option to always show, as this will give me a grey bar if it isn't active on the currently selected target, which will get my attention. In a more advanced video I plan on doing, I'll show you folks ways to use conditional statements in weak ores to have more visual cues to make you notice things easier. Jeez, this is sounding like programming classes in college again. And it kind of basically is. Crazy what we do just to track a debuff better sometimes. Anyways, rambling's over, sorry. So yeah, I choose Always Show on this page, which brings us the display panel for this weak aura. Once again, I'm going to change the shape of this bar to more closely match this one here. If you want it to be super exact, you can also use the width and height parameters in the position settings of this weak aura if you're super OCD like me and you have more than one bar, or you're using the E-Align add-on or something and you just want it to be perfectly centerized. So once again, you've chosen what color you want the bar to be and its position. You'll just close up the weak ores interface and you'll notice the bar, uh, isn't there. Nani? That's because we haven't targeted anything yet. Since it's a debuff, it will only load once we are targeting something, like this target dummy. Now when I apply Rupture to the target dummy, it will count down until it runs out. This same principle will also work for buff-oriented moves, such as Slice and Dice. However, on the beta, Slice and Dice doesn't automatically show up as a buff option for assassination in the template system, so we'd have to tweak a bar to work with this move, which is something I'll be covering in the more advanced video I mentioned. For this episode, I'll just switch to Outlaw to show you it. Much like the others, you simply start a new aura, click from template, horizontal progress bar, and this time we will choose slice and dice from the buffs menu. Position it however you want, change your colors, and boom, yet another supremely minimalistic and quick way to track something like slice and dice. This can get pretty impressive looking if you go into custom scripts and visuals, however if you just need a quick and dirty way to track something, this template system is bar none the fastest way to do this sort of thing other than just importing an entire UI from someone on wago.io. This should help let you get your feet a little wet with the concept of making simple weak ores, and I do plan on expanding on this series with episodes involving visual and audio indicators so you can very easily make these sort of things without much knowledge of how to use weak ores at all. Believe me, this is barely even scratching the surface of the tip of the iceberg when it comes to weak ores. It is really crazy what you can do with this add-on once you know how to use a lot of the features in it. And admittedly, even I learn stuff about this pretty regularly because there are days I just go in and start fiddling with it to see what I can make it do just on my own. I hope this video was useful to you folks, as I've gotten a lot of comments and questions over the last couple months about what I use for my duration tracking and energy tracking and all that, so I felt the best way to show you guys was with a bit of a tutorial on the basics of the template system. If you have any other questions about this or any of my other weak wars or add-ons, don't hesitate to ask, as I do my best to comment back as promptly as I can. If you're new around here, I'd like to welcome you to check out some of my other videos. I do new uploads every weekday, ranging over a variety of content, with a good chunk of rogue-specific goodies if you're into that sort of stuff. If not, I cover a lot of guides, tutorials, add-ons, and other things ranging across the WoW spectrum. If you're one of my regular viewers slash subscribers, I just want to say thank you for sticking around and watching the videos. It really does help the channel out immensely. Thank you all so much for watching, this is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.